I am Mike from High Hopes. And I'm Emma. And welcome to Bubble Worship. Mike. Yes? Do you ever get afraid of the dark? No, I'm not afraid of the dark. But I, um, I do get afraid of pretty much everything that I can't see that might be in the dark. You know, other people, animals, squelchy things, trip hazard, holes, head bonking hazards. Isn't that the same thing? No, no, no. It's totally different to being afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. What's that hiding in your top? Nothing. Really? Because it looks a lot like a bright light. Well, um, <clears throat> well, <laughs> I've got this in case it, uh, well, in case it gets dark. Did you know that about seven out of ten adults admit that they're afraid of the dark? The chances are there will be teachers in your school who are still afraid of the dark. But why is that? Is it because we can't see it? Is it because shadows and dark things are often used in scary or bad ways in films and TV? Is it because we feel alone or unsure about where all, to go? All, all right, don't go on about it. <laughs> My goodness. It's a bit of a dark time of year. And I've already reflected on the power of light in the darkness and how Christians believe that the Bible it's like a torch, helps you to see where to go. We'd like to tell you a Bible story today. This is the first story in the Bible and it's called The Creation of Everything. In the beginning, there was, well, in the beginning, there wasn't very much, just absolute darkness. In the beginning, there was nothing except perhaps an enormous smile, but there was no one there to see it. Then on the first day, God gave us the gift of light. So now there is not just darkness, but there is light and dark. Now I don't just mean a little light, like in a light bulb, or a lot of light like the floods at a football stadium, but I mean all of the light. God gave us the gift of light that all light comes from. When God saw the light, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the first day. On the second day, God gave us the gift of water. Now I don't just mean a little water, like in a raindrop or a water glass. I don't even mean a lot of water, like in a river or the oceans. I mean all of the water. This is the water that all the rest of the water comes from. When God saw the water, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the second day. On the third day, God gave us the gift of dry land. God divided the water and the dry land and gave us the gift of green and growing things. When God saw the dry land and the green and growing things, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the third day. On the fourth day, God gave us the gift of day and night. God gave us a way to count our days. The great light that rules the day, the sun. And here are the lights that rule the night, the moon and the stars. When God saw the day and the night, our way to keep time, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the fourth day. On the fifth day, God gave us the gift of all creatures, the ones that swim in the water, octopus and whales and seahorses and sharks, all of them, and all of the creatures that fly in the air. Birds and buzzy bees, flying squirrels and pterodactyls. When God saw all of the creatures that swim and all of the creatures that fly, God said, it is good. And that was the end of the fifth day. On the sixth day, God gave us the gift of all creatures that walk upon the earth, wild ones and domestic ones, creatures with a few legs and creatures with a lot of legs. Then God made you and me. God made humans out of the dust of the ground and his very own breath. God made humans in his image to reflect him and care for all creation. When God saw you and me, the humans he had created, he was so full of love and joy that he said, it is very good. And that was the end of the sixth day.
So you may have heard that Jesus told his followers, I am the light of the world. Follow me and you will never walk in darkness. Christians find that a very encouraging idea, but I think it gets even better because later he tells his followers, you are the light of the world. A lamp when it is lit does not stay hidden, but instead it's put on a stand to give light to everyone. So let your light shine so that everybody can see the good things. It's like this pumpkin here. The creation story from the Bible gives the idea that we're all made wonderfully different, shaped and designed our own unique way. And then Jesus adds to this idea that we have a special space for light to live in us and shine out not just who we are, but maybe even something of God's goodness as well. So we've got this idea that we can be like a light to others to help them out. If we think of darkness as bad things and light as all of the good stuff, then to show our light, we should do good things. Can you think of good ways to bring a bit of light into the lives of your friends and families and neighbours? Pause! Ooh, we're in space! Each one of these stars here is a light shining in the darkness, shining so bright that it can be seen millions, billions of miles away, all the way down on Earth. And ever since humans have been alive, we have used the stars to find our way. Even tonight, someone in this planet is going to use the light of stars to find their way, either off on an adventure or home to warmth and safety. Which brings us back to our creation story earlier, because there's this really wonderful aspect of how we scientifically understand how the universe was made. In one moment, flash of energy flung burning balls of energy into existence, and out of those stars came planets, and out of one planet, came you. You are made out of the dust of planets, which means you're made out of the dust of stars. And just like these stars in the night sky, you can shine brightly and guide everyone around you. I'm going to say a prayer now to wrap things up. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the light of the world and guide us through the dark and scary times. Thank you for sharing your light with us. I ask that you help us to be the light in the world as well as not be afraid to let our light shine bright. Amen. Amen. I hope you've had fun today. We're coming closer to Christmas now. I'm very excited. All of our bubble worships are going to be about Christmas. Ooh.